Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on the utmost hardest, hardest difficulty that humankind has yet seen. And we are going to explore a fishing town. Lots of chrysalid infectors, I like that. Lots of elite collectors and uh, we also got Dark Elders, so Poison is the name of the game here. I figured we're going to bring in some lightly wounded and also shaken characters, mainly because I want to level them. <clears throat> and we got a few new toys to play with just stuff that we haven't seen so far the hellfire projector i figured since this is one of the few missions where there are just biological enemies might as well use a flamethrower then we got uh, the drones i got a nice little uh, fire shield uh, for some reflection we got uh, plenty of healing with us we got one more drone here and a few turrets for good measure Hey, we're going to take one more drone instead of a turret. Hmm. Good question. You know what? Let's make it two and two. So we're actually taking another deployable drone. And we got a fancy drone on him as well. So as you can see, I have fully committed to the additional uh, units or deployable units uh, that I'm spawning because it just turns out to be a good substitute for Mimic Beacons. Hello, hello, hello. Good, we're landing. Let's see what Newfoundland has to offer. Oh, and we got an elite paladin on our side. Holy moly. EMP bomb and the good old shields. Well, you can already see how this is going, guys. It this will be a complete and utter bloodbath. Hyperreactive sensors. Our soldiers can now use a combination of the Hive Warriors, Hyperreactive sensors, and Adrenaline Rush. This will increase the effectiveness to dodge attacks. Greatly increases willpower and mobility. One charge lasts two minutes. Okay, cool. We know enemies are in here. I can handle that. So, Dark Cry. Oh, well. Pierre apparently hasn't spotted him out. That is. Very interesting. Solid concept. Halop moves up. And this reveals the hunters in all of their glory. The reason why I want to reveal them on our turn is quite simple. They have tactical analysis. What? That guy instead of running just decides to randomly attack someone and is like yep yeah, f that okay paladin moves forward gives everyone a nice little shield Consider is hitting this guy, but of course can't kill him. That is very unfortunate. Good, Dark Cry. 
Look. Um, for starters, might as well use the hyper reactive sensors now. And then the burst of his shotgun. Very well. Besides, like that burst, the shotgun is really utter trash, but I appreciate the burst. Oh, we got a hair trigger. Nice. Very good. Why is there a collector assassin, by the way? Uh, it's not enough chrysalids yet. Okay, well, that is a problem now. Infector. Yeah, let's try to get the infectors down first. Good, Hayward. Starts hitting. And then I think we're facing off. Can we do that? Yes, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Cool. Three down. More to go. Bastard blocks at the entrance and I think second turret. It's not the worst idea. Come on. Very nice. Maybe a blade storm could kill that infector. Well, most certainly it's on now because we have more chrysalids. Some rando soldier is immediately getting destroyed before he even can take a turn. Rando soldier friend 2 um, is Lena Kraus in this case is killed as well. You will regret your resistance. I predicted it's going to be a bloodbath. Lots and lots and lots of chrysalids are coming. More by the hour. But what do you expect from Newfoundland, right? That's exactly what that mission was famous for. An onslaught of chrysalids.
was like an invitation get already uh, ready for a rush and try try hunker down at the evac zone the actual uh, mission in Newfoundland was a bit easier because you could advance slowly and get everything in order this here looks a bit overtuned as per the usual and with even more enemies in form of dark elders uh, this is going to be very overtuned but thankfully the dark elders can typically stand their own ground and disorientation is the bane of the chrysalids But power and numbers is the bane of uh, the Dark Elders, because what are they going to do? Exactly, not much. But we can kill a lot of enemies. Let's maybe start with the ones that are obvious 290% shots dismissed it's not going to be that much more obvious than that Let's remove the poison because Dark Cry still has a lot of turns left over uh, and quite a bit of shield. That chrysalid is burning. I have to wonder what's the best play here. Oh, we could flank that. I, that is the best play, yeah. All right, we're reloading. We are then running and gunning. Full cover. And the fire burst. Let's go. Dark cry. Nice. Good hit for the first one. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. It, against low armor targets, it can actually deal a lot of damage. So, 8 protocol for our sniper and then we're starting to take on the stupid zombies got a face drone available and got another drone available here so i wonder whether i should just play it safe and do a bit of a double pistolero we got death from above so that could actually be a kill plus something else i think we're going to do exactly that kill you can't handle me got a deployed drone which if I'm not doing it now, I will potentially not do it anytime soon. Lo prenderò la prossima volta. Hmm.
Well, sometimes there are other priorities. Let's deploy a drone. Paladin moves up and makes sure that we're suppressing. Shield goes to the tower, because why not? Flying up here and that chrysalid hunter might be a good chance to uh, to score a kill for us. High ground here isn't bad, but high ground up here is even better. I mean, look, we could go to here, right, and take high ground up here next turn. I think that's the right play. Global face drone potentially needs to wait. a normal drone de uh, deploy to move into cover kill get attacked by that guy still the right play we have enough uh, hit points to go through uh, with it Free reload. Seventy nine per cent. That's all due to defense. Might as well take the shot. Why not? It's unfortunately a miss. Some serious wounds. The ones with <clears throat> the ones with uh, the low will are actually starting to panic, but they are hunkering down, which isn't bad because that will also stop at the end of our turn thanks to mental fortitude. So all they did was gain more defense for now. Luckily our shield helped out quite well. Like I said, the Elder can stand their own ground. Thanks to their high defense and dodge, I would expect that they can tank these guys quite well yep see that's what uh, happens when you mod uh, enemies with so much defense no one effectively hits one another leave the dead with an annoyance chameleon does what a chameleon does And we have more zombies slash more chrysalids.
Good. Dark Elders. Stop punishing. Well, that's what I want to see. They very much bogged down here and are now fighting against a few chrysalids, and that's fine. Go ahead and do exactly that. Oh yeah. The Dark Elder Opinus can, uh, comes through. Good, we're moving up. Dark Cry. Finishes one of these guys. We're healing axe. Let's start with the turrets. Wouldn't have thought that the turret placement there was so good. It could shoot everything around so far. Actually did a fantastic job in doing that. Eight protocol on to X. And uh, then we're killing the collector. There you go, good job. Lots and lots and lots of hits. I like what I'm seeing. Time to get another alien down. Helping the Dark Elders a little bit. Oh, really? Oh, come on. Paladin moves up and I figured we would find uh, that that stupid alien there. Drone flies up. And drone deploys more shields onto the paladin. Because we can. Don't waste my time. X moves up. Hellfire projector. I don't think that we're going to get a much better shot anytime soon. Good, we're reloading here and we are deploying the phase drone. Want to spot the chameleon out. Good, we're overwatching. And we're killing... Oh, come on.
Even the Overwatch misses. No Bladestorm. Yes. Well, that was somewhat uh, avoidable. Your form is fragile. Interesting, by the way, that the Chrysalid Infestors are immune to fire. Which means my idea, my original one with the Hellfire Projector, was completely rubbish. I hit the only unit that was reasonably impacted by it. Okay, fair enough. They killed the drone. Okay, so a couple of things. Can't even heal. That is strange. Good, Epi moves in. Chameleon almost goes down down to 1 HP. Paladin moves slightly back, <clears throat> does what he's supposed to, which is provide shields and healing for everyone. They are very good. Trying to remove uh, cover, not really to hit him. It, it is not strategic to remain here. Good, starting to hit the Scorch, who is repositioning. Um, <clears throat> if we're moving up here, we would be able to see it and kill it. Very nice. Okay, so we're moving up a bit closer. Well, I we'll actually need to kill this guy, so... Let's burst fire. That's a miss. Uh, not really g uh, well done. <clears throat> My biggest gripe with the shotgun is it is only for absolute close quarters. And even then it is not... At close quarters and unarmored targets at the same time. And that's quite niche as an as a utilization. It appears to me that we have killed most of uh, the closer enemies. We're handing out a few more shields.
and we're exploring who's going to win the few dark elders that are left over or the chrysalids so far it seems that the chrysalids are slowly but surely kind of overwhelming the elders like i said elders weakness is power in numbers chrysalids weakness is generally good melee avoidance or any form of uh, blade storm Elders decide to get a full squad of uh, new combatants in. There be something there. We're deploying more drones. Hayward overwatches. Paladin moves up. Can the Paladin get more shields? Potentially not. No, they are not overriding each other. Okay, well, it is what it is. Halop begins to move up there. Epi moves up there. So that we do have the high ground. Because, as Obi-Wan Kenobi once said, whoever has the high ground has the advantage. Dark Cry moves a bit closer. And end of turn. Let's see if the Elder Warrior will survive. They are sharing the same cruel fate as everyone else here. Being overrun. Nice, that's a good hit. Well, at least we're trying to hit them, right? Right, guys? Good, blocking the entrance here. And let's deal more damage to the remaining infectors. Good to go. Epi hits as well. I like it. Even as a hair trigger, might as well finish this guy. Okay, so we already triggered uh, the reaction fire. X gets uh, the A protocol. I like the shields. The Paladin bus uh, Busters are one of my favorite units. You 
Good. Done deal. Uh, I think we need more scouting. So the drone will do exactly that. And scout a lot for us. I got a piece. Enemy dodges. We're handing over teamwork after that one hit. Uh, we need to reload as well. That is really irritating. Very unfortunate. Let's get this show on the road. X begins to move forward. Anyone want a souvenir? On reserves. Paladin. Can't really move forward, apparently. He's stuck here. Yep, the reload has just made him realize uh, that moving is not possible. One shot, uh, not a hit unfortunately, and we're overwatching. Okay, well, now it's up to the Dark Elders to deal with uh, the Chrysalids. Can't believe we really had two Overwatches ready here. Three, actually. Good. The elite bitch might be able to deal with them. And for whatever reason, the elders just hate civilians. More elders incoming. Now, I was afraid this wouldn't become a Royal Rumble, but I stand corrected. It very much becomes one. Eight protocol to our front line, which in this case is Axe. And we're overwatching. X has reloaded, getting rid of more of the chrysalids, which turn out to be more of a pain than I would have uh, imagined. But we're evening out both sides. Psyche and gives, say Psyche and takes. Can't let uh, one of them become too strong. Anyone in the dar need of a shield? It does not appear like that. Well, maybe the civilian, because that means you might even survive a single hit. Remember that. 
moving closer because I want to help with the overwatch trap here reload overwatch and we're good that witch is still tanking uh, them that's exactly what the enemy needed uh, well the dark elders oh holy moly That Elder Rock uh, was almost killed. It comes pretty clear to me that the Elders are having the upper hand now. He does have defense, his tower shield and low cover from me, which I unfortunately cannot accept. So we're moving over here where you don't have that and we're trying it again. Because now, exactly, there is uh, that. Reload, prime these guys. Good hit, good hit. I like it. Having the nice high ground up here. Moving over because fire is never a good place to stand. Paladin moves up. Tries to burst his bubble. Son. Ultimately, unfortunately, unsuccessful. It's one more down. I know that there is a Dark Elder over here, so we just need vision. And vision we've got. It, it is not strategic to remain. <sighs> 12 hit points and we have not hit once let's try that again with lower chances to hit nope at least it's she's down to eight and that fish is blocking our line of sight oh, this is ridiculous moves into a stable position all right overwatch the elders are losing their flank shouldn't have left there now your ranged damage dealer has died ah uh, that is not what I was expecting. I wanted to get you can't me. the Elder Witch 
and not a small chrysalid. Which moves up, tries to kill the zombie, is not successful. Continuing to harass the witch. You want some more? Good job. So she's down. There's one witch and one zombie now. left over. And of course, all of the chrysalids. Zombie has really bad defenses, easy to hit. Mind you, not really bad, he's the only one who does not have extra defenses. So this is how something like a turret still manages to hit a normal enemy instead of, you know, uh, instead of realizing, yeah, there's no chance of hitting anything because everything has like 30 defense. Reload Overwatch, Reload Overwatch, Overwatch. Nice. The drone with nine points of damage uh, on its normal shot plus a disorientation is a bit busted as well. Am I the only one thinking that? It feels overdone. Positione confermata. Whatever you say. Good, dark cry. Back online. Reloads. I mean drone shock shouldn't be a drone kill. We're finally losing our paladin shields. Much to my Disapproval. X ray down. Yeah, and these guys are definitely the direct counter because they have a lot of armor, are not affected by any of the poison shenanigans and have defense built into them <laughs> plus apparently have a super hardcore gun drones aren't bad not bad at all we're pretty sure we're done Aren't we? Eventually yeah. we killed off the waves of chrysalids pouring into town. But we still didn't know what was riling them up in the first place. Well, I like the homage to Newfoundland. I guess straight up chrysalid hardcore mission. And I know that it is not easy for a modder to bring in their own maps. They used voice lines uh, from the DLC just to sort of describe what was happening but the original Newfoundland map was actually a lot of fun mainly also because there was a real chance of getting over overwhelmed even with a C team at this point there is there wasn't a real chance of getting like overwhelmed Fanfire good, Serial also good, and she has 15 AP, which means she can get the other ability for free. Hello, Commander.
Good. Uh, where is she, by the way? Oh yeah, well, of course. Dummy me. Hayward is, uh, has finally leveled up. We got 20 uh, points to spare. And I wonder, covering fire might be worth it. Comet protocol, maybe. Uh, return fire, not so much. Euler. I mean, saturation fire is actually quite good. So... Maybe he has a really decent chance to hit. And sonar. Volatile mix could be okay if we give him one of these big Methian suits. Psy operatives don't get anything. I tell you what, I think we're going with Saturation Fire and whatever else ability we can get next time. So, almost done. Let's see what else can we do. I mean, we can get Strange Loot and hope that we can get the Cult of Jericho and also upgrade our when inspired, our, team our Shadow Chamber because currently we're just gathering intel like there is no tomorrow as soon as we have of no all of the intel pads I've never had 700 intel in a regular game there we go First things first, upgrade, sound gate, yes please, change, and we're researching that. Power relay upgraded. Good, we're definitely <clears throat> in the green with the power now. And we are finishing our Golden Path missions. All negative traits removed, that's good. Can't yet get anyone else with negative traits, that's fine as well. Can't believe that we have so many kernels now. Originally there was a clear demarcation line between like the A team and the B team and the C team. Now everybody is getting a bit stronger. Market is open. Uh, we'll take that. Yes, thank you. Another sharpshooter. Yes, thank you. Alois. Yeah, Alarium. We could take some Alarium. Okay, cool. Well, that was a good shopping trip. Yes, I know who that uh, mm, superior <coughs> superior uh, perception module was for. Good. In terms of promotion, long watch. Yes, please. Lightning hands. Yes, please. Quick draw. Yes, please. <coughs> Buff average is 24 points left over. Let's do kill zone because in this game here it's actually not bad. Steady hands is good and fanfire is good as well. Good enough hit. One auto loader isn't bad. Unfortunately, we don't have the expanded, magaz expanded magazines anymore.
What was her name? Oh, I forgot to look that one up. Um, class. Dup, 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 dup. Sniper. Dead eye. Okay, well, dead eye needs some training. There we go. Serial. Yes, please. And I'm not going to waste any points on her. And that's all for the prime team. Okay, we can't yet make contact, but that soon may change. Avenger plotting new course. 14 engineers and 13 scientists. I never had that many, except, I'm lying, except with my campaign, uh, the Lone Wolf campaign. Okay, cool. Next bond level available. That is fantastic. I wanted something else. That was good. But that was even better. So a few more hacking points and Grell is together with a Sonar. So both of them are, can actually get that extra resistance. Uh, there's a chance of wounding a soldier. Do we want to do that? Well, seven days, we still need to research. So there's nothing happening for the A-team in the next seven days. Good, and with that bond level increase, Have they automatically increased or have they just reached the ne next threshold? I think they just reached the next threshold. No offense, guys, but... I was hoping we would have the chance to actually increase their bond level. That sucks. The covert, op uh, covert Ops mission has not worked. At least not as it was supposed to work. Good, we got the psionic gate. Time for the Avatar autopsy. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. And that, my friends, is the location of the Mac. Uh, the Mac ruler that we haven't found yet. So that will still happen. We have no more soldiers that we can train. Let's get Iggy here. I think it's fair to say that by now the chance of completely losing the campaign is relatively low. Which is why we're focusing only on the most relevant aspects. Our actions have succeeded, and the elder people fearful. Okay. Well, we have already destroyed the raiders, but I don't know why it is still offering us uh, that uh, mission. So, look at the main map, right? We got the cultist base. By the way, make contact. Yes, great, cool. Finally got volunteering army, which means there is another chance that an XCOM uh, resistance operative will join us. Anyways, cult of space, okay? Uh, that's the only one that we could get. I don't think that we can actually destroy the Dark Elder um, webway. At least I have not. I'm not remembering that we had a, had been given the chance. So they are kind of off limits, but we can kill the cult of Jiraiya, which would be really cool if we could do that. 
other than that, it's just this one mission here, uh, and then we would almost be ready. So I'm wondering, Prime Team is ready, right? Right. Oh, Prime Team is so ready. Grell, by the way. Uh, where is the big fat suit? Make armor available. There you go. Now, I hope that has not taken it from you. No, it did not. Oh, it took it uh, from Shooter. No, 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 no. Something is wrong here. Uh, she had the Hive Queen armor. There we go. Much better. That's uh, what I remember. And we wanted wings. Okay, now that looks like my girl. And that's the second Mission battle suit with a brute gauntlet and big fat psionic rifle. Okay, much better. So, back to what I was actually uh, wanting to say. I am wondering, shall we just take the Prime Team on a little tour? and get that last uh, ruler laid to rest. I think it is the mech ruler, unless there is another kind of child of the Viper King. If it is the child of the Viper King, then F it. In that case, we're not going to go for the mech ruler. If he doesn't show up by, what, what month do we even have? August 2036, uh, then it's his loss. You need to join the Royal Rumble in order to actually Royal Rumble with others. If you're just a coward, I call that disqualified. And these guys finally could improve in Bond Center. How long would that take? I want that upgrade as well, but I think what we can do is we can do the mission now. We can do the mission now, let Lyrical and Matt get their upgrade, then we upgrade uh, them. And Bond 2 is good enough for the last mission. That should give us a clear timer, we'll get the third Mission suit in the meantime, and we should be good to go. Cool. Guys, uh, that is the end of today's episode. I thank you for watching, truly appreciate that. And if you want to become part of the A-Team as well, it's time to send your application. The only way of uh, doing that is uh, hitting the like button. If you hit it hard enough, uh, you might get recruited. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.